Uh, I'll be talking a little bit about uh, communicating uh, these messages to your different uh, constituencies and audiences. Uh, we've seen all these kinds of images. So the message appears simple, but why is it so difficult? First of all, it's complicated, and uh, the three talks uh, by the scientists earlier have uh, illustrated that we don't know exactly, we know that it is happening, we don't know exactly when, we don't know how um, large the impact will be, etc. cetera. Uh, also, as far as the impact, much of it will happen down the road somewhere, 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, and obviously people are mainly concerned about what's happening today and tomorrow. Uh, actually, psychologists now talk about the limited pool of worry. By and large, people can only juggle about five or six different things, uh, which often have to do with money, jobs, you know, what to have for lunch, relationships, etc., <laughs> family. And so it's very hard to make uh, climate change or climate change impact uh, one of these uh, little alligators swimming around the pool of glory. You know? <laughs> uh, in any case, so we, we want to, uh, need, first we need to challenge some of these mindsets that are out there, and I know uh, many of you are in the field every day, and uh, you know, the attitudes that uh, when it comes to building a house or buying property, especially in Rhode Island, but in, in uh, many parts of the world, the closer to the water is the better. Uh, also, typically people tend to not worry about the future, uh, tend to be more focused on the immediacy. And finally, as far as uh, the unpleasant consequences, as long as we can keep them out of our backyard, uh, we're in business. And the scientific consensus is overwhelming, so what we need is consensus messages. And these messages also need to be understandable to the uh, various audiences. Uh, one way to make them uh, more understandable is through stories, uh, through visuals, pictures, uh, video, etc. Now, if these sharks get it, <laughs> why are we? <laughs> Another way to Get messages is, uh, and uh, obviously we know this uh, from the commercial world, is uh, through slogans. There are some well known ones that you can probably think of. Uh, I came up with this one, it's not very original, but, uh, and then you add the graphic to it, clearly that has a lot of punch. Now, what we need is to communicate <coughs> values, and in an ideal world, we come up with some simple, uh, at least easy to understand values. So, a uh, general one would be prepared now. Say big later, uh, a, a related image shown up here. So we, uh, the, uh, this idea of build up, build back, or don't build, as uh, Jim said earlier. Uh, in addition, the source of the message is very important. And uh, what is a trustworthy source? I'm sure you've wondered it yourself. Uh, often in our world, uh, where the people, even though people have a tr trouble this thing, uh, well, separating weather and climate, but they, are, they tend to be uh, uh, trustworthy. Uh, we have uh, several scientists here, and uh, you know, some of the world's finest, uh, but also uh, peers. <laughs> uh, peers can also be experts, uh, can also be trustworthy sources, so uh, local fishermen, uh, long-term residents, etc., because they are at the same level as the audience. And sometimes it's just an anonymous source, uh, which, you know, given the right circumstances, can make quite an impact. So one of the, our biggest challenges is to figure out who is our audience. And it's typically it's not just one audience, depending on where, uh, who you're talking to, you different audiences. Uh, the you know, demographic is one factor, age, gender, income, education. Are they stake, uh, your stakeholders uh, professionals or are they consumers? Uh, what is their readiness for change? And uh, Jim talked about that. Uh, and what are some of the different niche markets that you can tap into? Uh, surface maybe, you know, uh, 
beach goers, etc. Although in Rhode Island, beach goers is not really a niche market. Um, <laughs> Well, how, how can you tap into the core values of that audience? And once you've identified these core values, how can you affirm those while making your point? This, this image sort of uh, <coughs> juxtaposes two values, the you know, family, you know, enjoying your uh, leisure time, and then, of course, the impending uh, threat of flooding. This is a, a very strong image. You can have if you can include pets in your uh, presentation, that's always uh, very effective. <laughs> <laughs> and this would be a way to affirm uh, you know, multiple core values, uh, being protective, you know, taking care of your home, taking care of uh, you know, your loved ones, etc. Uh, then another, another challenge is to maximize the emotional impact, because we have a lot of uh, I guess rational messages. We've seen a lot of statistics, and et cetera. But how do we translate that in, into emotion? And emotions are the driver for much behavior. So if we can uh, activate emotions, chances are we'll get behavior uh, much faster. Okay. So personalized and dramatic, close to home. We have the, uh, the flood uh, last year. That would be an example. Uh, impacts that are in the near future or in the recent past, because they are fresh in people's minds. If their family or friends are affected, or if there's potential damage to health and property. So, uh, a few examples of how our daily life can be affected by this. This is from uh, home last year's uh, flooding. In '95, uh, shopping could be affected. <laughs> and, uh, this is it's going over to the dark side, but uh, another way to, to maximize the impact of your message is to repeat it. And you know, from commercials or from uh, if there's a commercial campaign, uh, you know, one of the things that, uh, that they do, they, they hammer you with it in the, on TV, on the radio, in the newspaper, and they hand out things uh, at the mall, etc. So uh, find different contexts to repeat your message, and sometimes you have to vary the two. Uh, there's public presentations, and Steve Jobs was uh, a, a genius at that. But, uh, but you know, for many of us, that's, that's a challenge that we have to uh, prepare for. Uh, small groups is another context. We have Thanksgiving coming up. And one interesting thing about Thanksgiving is that people come there and bring all the different things that they have on their mind. I have to give credit to Julia Swift who uh, fulfilled his uh, ideas. You can fill in your own next week. Uh, and uh, repetition also a different uh, context. It would be one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, conversation. Uh, another uh, dimension of repetition is to uh, utilize different media. Okay, so, so for uh, some of the things that we talked about here, the, the local beaches, etc., a local newspaper might be a, a prop, uh, appropriate medium. Also, radio is, a, is more of a local medium. Uh, radio is with YouTube, etc., cetera, video is uh, uh, very pervasive, and today's uh, lecture will also be videotaped. So that's, a, that's one way to get out there. And then uh, television, film, and social media. You know, we're, we're still sort of struggling with different ways of utilizing Facebook and Twitter, et cetera. Uh, but definitely, it's, it's, especially for uh, younger demographics, that's an important tool to use. <coughs> So the key message is to be prepared for sea level rise and extreme weather. Here's the ocean mist. Again, you know, there's some people, in, uh, you know, a lot of the younger people especially, and that's one, uh, you know, so the uh, uh, landmark in Rhode Island, but maybe not for uh, all of us. Uh, here's uh, Hurricane Carol. So changing. Uh, but the key message has to be that changing our behavior is possible. And Jim uh, talked to that. Uh, to focus on the benefits of change, the pros of change, 
uh, you know, there's a, you know, some key ideas. The cost of change now will be far less than paying for it when your house gets flooded or, uh, or other things happen. Uh, also, by implementing change now, you can reduce anxiety about the future. And you can become a role model for others that will follow. There's a few images. Reinforce, elevate, and shatter. And for, for those who are not quite convinced, <laughs> so, even if it doesn't happen like that, as you think, it's all going to Thank you very much, and remember to know your audience. Thank you.